To write the name for Mg3N2, we first need to recognize that we have an ionic compound here. That's because we have a metal and a nonmetal bonded together. Metal and a nonmetal, that's an ionic compound. And specifically, this is called a binary ionic compound. That's because we have two different elements bonded together. So we have our binary ionic compound. We can use these rules to write the name. We'll first write the name on the metal as it appears on the periodic table. So this is our metal here. We're just going to write magnesium. Next, for the nonmetal, that's the nitrogen, we're going to write the name as it appears on the periodic table. Start with a small n. But we're going to replace the ending with IDE. So instead of OGEN, we have IDE. So the name for MG3N2 is magnesium nitride. If you were given the name here and asked to write the formula, you'd need to realize that magnesium on the periodic table, that has a two plus ionic charge. Nitrogen, that forms three minus ions. So each nitrogen, three minus. So because we have a neutral compound, it all adds up to zero. Three times two plus, that's six plus. Three minus times two, six minus. These will cancel out and give us a net charge of zero. So that's the formula for magnesium nitride. This is Dr. B with MG3N2. Thanks for watching.